Recently, I got a macro lens adapter for E-mount lenses, and I wanted to test that with the Sony ZV-E10 kit lens to see if it's gonna do well. And yes, you might have heard of the macro ring adapters because they're used for photography, because it's much easier to focus on the subject that's not moving, and it's also much easier to expose and photography, right? Uh, you're not limited to aperture and ISO, you can control the shutter speed as well, which changes a lot, especially like when you have a tripod and you can really spend more time on perfecting that one frame. Instead of having lots of moving images, you are moving, the subject's moving. So I tried to recreate the video that I shot with my 35 millimeters from the intro with the kit lens and the macro rings. So I'm not gonna lie, because I don't have a stable tripod, when filming, I moved the subject, so I moved the lens, instead of moving the camera. And I think around 10% of the, well, maybe 20% of the footage that I got is usable. So 80% of the footage was kinda bye-bye. Every single movement is exaggerated. So if you move or if the subject moves when you're so close to it, it just looks massive, so it's very easy to get a lot of shakes. I had like a slippery layer that I put my lens on and I was moving that. Uh, to perfect those movements and to make it really smooth, that was uh, quite, quite challenging. But as you can see, the difference between the 35mm lens that I shot the original intro and the kit lens isn't that big. Of course, there's a depth of field because the 35mm is... Uh, f1.8 and when i use the kit lens you know i zoomed in a little bit more i think it's around f4 f4.5 so it is definitely not as shallow but also what it gave me it's uh, the image is way sharper in some shots i think it looks way better than the wide open 35 millimeter lens when i was done i thought i'll grab like random objects from around the house and i shot them so if you're into macro shots of tangerines or a piece of wood or yoda i recommend it and also these didn't break the back i mean i'm shooting stuff with a cheap camera with a kit lens with like 50 dollars macro lens adapter like the budget wasn't massive but the effect i got i think it looks pretty good i think this is something that you could use uh, in client work even Maybe not when you're shooting like a TV commercials, but if you're shooting online content or like online promo ads, I must say, this is way better than I expected. 